Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lola Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809 Press this, and you can see this, hear this, taste this, and experience this. Press the green button at Ireland.com. Hello and welcome to the show. Mick Mulhern is a very well known singer from County Mayo and he recently released his brand new album and we'll be featuring one of his songs later in the show. But first we're going to tell you a story about Caitlin Whitehead who recently celebrated her 18th birthday. She had a wonderful party with all her family and many friends. Caitlin was born with half a heart and she had her first major operation when she was only five days old. Caitlin's had many more major operations down the years. It's great to see that she's grown up to be such a beautiful girl. We first featured Caitlin's story back in 2015 when I went along to meet Caitlin, her mum Natalie and the surgeon at Alderhead Children's Hospital who has performed so many operations on Caitlin down the years. There was also a fundraising walk arranged from the Alderhay Children's Hospital to the Warrington Irish Club by the community of Warrington to raise money for the Children's Hospital. In 2005, um Five days after I had Caitlin, she had her first open heart surgery operation. Um, she was she was very sick during this period, and we were, were in, in hospital for quite a while. She she was actually born with quite a complex heart condition. A um, couple of months later, we were allowed to go home, and Kate, Caitlin did the usual steps that kiddies do. And then, around about two years later, she had a further operation. Um, and the last one was in um, October 2010 um, 
she th this was quite a large operation for Caitlin. She was in theatre for around about 12 hours. She very poorly afterwards, six weeks on, she didn't seem to be getting much better, really. Condition wasn't, it was beginning to deteriorate. So they did a few more tests and they found, you know, um, a, a few more issues. So she had to go and have the operation redone. So we all, all in all think we're in hospital for just under 12 weeks altogether. And she'll have a further one in August um, for um, one of her other conditions. I was 19 at the time when I had her and, you know, it, it got to the point where we were putting plans into place for the, for the worst case scenario. She was that poorly. You know, we were told to prepare for the worst as well, which, you know, th there's only so much you can do to do that. But m mentally, you have to get yourself into a frame of mind that, you know, the worst case, case scenario is going to occur. And, you know, thank goodness, Caitlin fought and fought and fought. And here she is today, my little miracle. If Caitlin was born 10, 15 years earlier, the option may not have been there for her to have this, you know, pioneering surgery. We'd, you know, we, we wouldn't have had that option. We're working from Liverpool to Alder Hay Children's Hospital to Warrington and it's about 17 miles and... How much money are you hoping to raise? £20,000. We wish you the very best of luck with it, Caitlin. Hope it all goes really well. Thank you. There is around about 80 of us. Um, we are hoping to raise quite a significant amount of money. Um, the um, A small percentage will be um, given to Caitlin for a trip to Florida. She was unable to go on the last one due to her being unwell. And the um, a large amount of it will go to um, a surgical piece of equipment called the hybrid theatre, which is used um, which is used on all cardiac, which can be used, sorry, on all um, cardiac surgery kids. And it's going to be for the new hospital, which opens later on this year. So I think this piece of equipment runs into millions and, you know, it'll just be nice for to get this piece of equipment to, you know, obviously give something back, but also make it the process a bit easier for the kids involved, if need be. I got to see Caitlin when she was about four years old, uh, when she came for her final correction of a very complex heart disease. She was born with a heart condition, what we call as a half a heart, where she only had half a heart, which was working very well. So she had underwent two complex surgeries before we had met her, and she also had gone through various investigations, including catheter procedures, before I got to see her. So that's about four years now. I saw her in 2010 for the first time. It's fantastic that Natalie is trying to raise some money for, for all the hay. Uh, clearly, there's something which will make a big difference to the children of Northwest. What Natalie is trying to do is raise money for a special lab called a hybrid lab, which is essentially a combined cardiac theta and a cardiac cat lab put in one, where we can do a cardiac surgical procedure and a cardiac catheter procedure in the same patient at the same time instead of taking them from uh, cardiac surgery after a complex cardiac surgery, going back to ICU and if they get into trouble, bring them back to cath lab and if something needs doing from cath lab back to cardiac theta, then from cardiac theta back to cath lab and then back to ICU. With this special theta, we'll be cutting all this additional movements of these very sick children. We'll do them at one sitting in the hybrid lab where we can do the surgery and then make sure the surgery is done well by doing a cath and then going back to ICU knowing very well that there's not going to be any problem in future. Funds like what Natalie is trying to do will make a big difference. We all know NHS is a bit stretched for money and anything that helps the children of Northwest will go a long way. I wasn't expecting it. I was told we were all going out for the day. I wasn't told that anyone else was here except for my mates. And when they were all, when everyone was here, my family, my friends, people I've known from years ago were here, it shocked me massively. I was in tears, I was emotional. But I wasn't expecting it, but it was the best surprise, honestly. I really loved it. Yeah. 
Oh, look at it. And everybody was so looking forward to you coming in and everybody was all waiting on Tinder hooks. Yeah, I bet they were. I mean, remember on the way here, my mum was like, we need to hurry up, we need to hurry up. And I was like, why do we need to hurry up? It's like, this is a bit weird. And then got here and it, obviously I realised why everyone wanted me to hurry up. No, yeah, I've got tissues. Okay. I'm going to cry. Today is a very special day for all of us, especially for you, as you are celebrating your 18th birthday. You have grown into a beautiful and intelligent young woman, and I couldn't be more proud of you. I remember the day when you were born like it was yesterday. Despite all the complications and heartache that we all know, your arrival brought so much joy and happiness into life, and since then, you have ne never stopped bringing us all joy and making us proud. From your first steps to your first day of school, to finishing high school, every milestone has been a blessing to watch. As your mum, I have seen your face challenges with determination, kindness and grace. I've watched you develop a strong sense of independence and a desire to make a positive impact into the world. You have a bright future ahead of you and I know you will continue to make me proud. Caitlin, on your 18th birthday, I want to thank you for the love and happiness. Oh, hang on, I've lost a bit, hang on. <laughs> happiness you've brought into my life. You've grown into an amazing young woman. I'm honored to be your mum. I wish you all the best on your journey ahead. And I'm confident that you've accomplished these things. Happy 18th birthday, my beautiful daughter. I love you now and always. I'm absolutely delighted that, you know, we've got to this point. Um, I know Caitlin won't mind me saying because we've had these conversations um, that when she was first born, it was a matter of getting into adulthood. Yeah. We're here now and the way medicine is nowadays, we, we've just got so much hope to strive on and on and she's absolutely amazing young girl. She's such an inspiration, isn't she? She's absolutely amazing. She just, she, she just, you know, she defies odds day in, day out. Um, you know, when she was five days old, 18 months old, five years old, she just, she just carries on and on and on. And we're just in the process now of being transitioned to the adult hospital from Elder Hay Children's Hospital to Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital. And they are just amazed by her. They're, they're just so proud of her that where she is today. You're such a great fighter, aren't you? you you're, my goodness, you've been through so much in your short life. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember much, but from all the stories and everything I've been told, I do feel like I've been through a lot. And um, yeah, but it's made me who I am today and I wouldn't change it. Mm. Only the one I remember is the last one I ever had, which was about 12 years old at the time. Um, I remember going down the first time and being very worried that I would never come back. Yeah. Um, and obviously find out that devastating news that I'd have to go back down again. Just a few hours later really did like be a kick in the stomach. However, I got through it and I'm just happy that I'm here today to be fair. You're going to hit the dance floor later on, Caitlin, are you? Yeah, yeah, definitely when this band comes on and yeah. the DJ later on, yeah. Yeah, and all your friends are here as well, so you've got to get all them up on the floor as well. I will be, I'll be making the most of tonight. It's not often, but yeah, I will be making the most. It's wonderful how people can deal with so much adversity in their lives. Now we're going to take a break. On our return, we'll be continuing with Caitlin's story and we'll be having some music from Mick Mulhern.
Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lollavita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Redditch, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809 Press this, and you can see this, hear this, taste this, and experience this. Press the green button at Ireland.com. Welcome back. This week we're telling you a story about Caitlin Whitehead who recently celebrated her 18th birthday. She had a wonderful party with all her family and many, many friends. I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who have come today and made this a surprise that I was never expecting. I'm so thankful it was kept from me and I wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah. Um, thank you all lovely people for being here today. What a surprise it's been. <laughs> um, I, I can't believe you kept it from me. I never, never knew this was going to happen today. There were so many people involved and of course even Caitlin's uh, school friends and none of them never let the cat out of the bag. They didn't. It's only yesterday when, when she rang a, a, a grandma up, a grandmother and said, uh, I won't be around on Sunday, I'm going out for a meal. And she didn't expect this today, so. <laughs> Raise your glasses! Happy birthday! Have the best night ever! She's 18 years of age now, and I can go back now just over 18 years ago. And when they said to us, prepare for the worst, and I'll never forget that day. 18 years on, and she's grown into a fine young lady. A couple of hours after Caitlin was born, she was diagnosed with a... Um, hyperplastic left heart syndrome which is basically um, half a heart where she would need immediate surgery and special care unit. My goodness that must have been a horrible experience. Um, at five days old I didn't really know what to expect. Um, on the fifth day she was due to go to theatre um, but they ran into a few complications therefore said um, as they did back in those days, let's feed her, as in give her buttermilk. And um, we started feeding her, and then a couple of moments later, we were told again that she will be going to theatre, so we had then to um, remove the milk back from her stomach um, to enable her to go to theatre. She spent many, many weeks on, um, on a life support machine, receiving the optimum um, support she could ever receive. 
it was only the back end of March. Did she did, to, did she start to come round a little bit and start to make a recovery? Um, and then eventually we got to take her home. But then we went on then to when she was 18 months old. She had further open heart surgery. Absolutely magnificent. She did amazing with that. We were in and out within about eight days. Um, n no problems at all. She absolutely just sailed through that. And then when she was five years old in the October, um, she had further open heart surgery. So she was down in theatre about 12, 13 hours, which is probably quite average for a child of Caitlin's age to be in for having open heart surgery. Six weeks went by. She wasn't really getting any better. So they took her back to theatre to have a little look at her. And um, they said that her new circulation that they had created hadn't worked out. Therefore, they would be taking her back to theatre for another 12, 13 hours. And that was, yeah, it was, we thought that would, would be, you know, where, where, it, where it stopped with regards to the open heart surgery until she got into later life. Mm. Um, but yeah, w literally hours later, she went for further open heart surgery and that was absolutely devastating to such a young child. Yeah. We've all come through it and it's fantastic. And everybody that's helped us out over the last years all the day Children's Hospital, it's unbelievable what they've done for Caitlin and many more children in, in the northwest of England and further afield. Yeah, well, of course, we had the opportunity there to speak to the surgeon that done so many operations on Caitlin down the years, and I know that he put himself through so much to save her life. I can remember that day when, when, when we done the walk and you come out there to film us, and the man that saved her life, he, he was just unbelievable. We raised money that year for to send Caitlin to Florida, which she missed out a few years before because she wasn't well enough to go out with many more children. So we sent her to Florida and we bought uh, 11 IR machines, which they're for children, that, which uh, measures the blood and you can keep on check on with the children. So we then give them to all the day Children's Hospital. It was something to pay back. I went to Florida in 2016 and I got granted off the charity, the Katie Hart Fund. Went for three weeks and it, yeah, it was just amazing. Went all to different, um, a mute, the different park, like um, the univer Universal and all that. I went to spend a week on the beach. Um, it was amazing. It was a, the best grant I've ever had. Right now I'm in the last year of college. I finish in May this year and I'm going to uni um, in Manchester to study media and journalism. That's what I want to be when I'm older. Now, I heard today that you're looking to take this job over from me in the future. <laughs> I would love to. If I had a chance, I would, honestly. That is my dream to be able to be in the media when I'm older and just be able to just be in journalism and, yeah. I have a very good communication skills. I can talk to anyone, honestly. <laughs> Give me any topic and I'll talk to you about it, honestly. <laughs> Fundraising is vitally important for the Aldra Hay Children's Hospital. Yeah, it is massive because, you know, they only get uh, so much money off the government and without ch people collecting money, charities, and it's like any else, any other charities, they need the money. The Warrington Irish Club, fair play to them, and Steve Charlton at the uh, Warrington Conservative Club, every year they give us money for the Katie Art Fund and Aldra Hay. And all the general public have always been behind us. Yourself and Tina, of course, you've been fantastic grandparents to Caitlin. You've always kind of taken a special interest in looking after her. And, of course, here today, you had a big hand with your daughter in arranging the surprise party. Yeah, we did. Uh, it is a surprise because I'm surprised we got away with it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, it all works out well today, Martin. Did 
did you know that you blew half the ceiling off in here? The, the manager the manager has got to go and put in a new ceiling tomorrow. Well, <laughs> don't be coming to me for the compensation. <laughs> that was only meant to be um, a confetti cannon, but come to my mum if you want to, <laughs> with the, for the money. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Thank you so My much. My last bit. We live in hope. We live in hope. Happy <laughs> birthday, dear Caitlin. Happy birthday to you. We wish Caitlin the very best of luck with her health and, of course, with her media and journalism career. Now, Mick Mulhern is a singer from County Mio. He's recently released his brand new album and a fantastic video. Here he is singing his own song, My Old Home in Mio. We'll be back next Thursday evening with the Irish in the UK at 7.30 and just before us, Hinrin Beglade will be on at 7 o'clock with his show from County Mio. There's many years ago now since I left my Mayo. Searching for those green hills somewhere across the foam. I was young and foolish and I longed for city life Away from my clear island and its lovely scenic sights Somewhere along life's highway that dream began to die Like the waves out on the ocean, the years went rolling by And tonight I'm reminiscing my old home in Mayo. I see the lights of Westport in the gloaming long ago. A heart so full of memories can never be at rest. I recall the girl I knew long, long ago. Late at night when all is still and the moon peeps over the hill. I dream about my old castle by the key Watch the golden sun set upon the western sea Or stroll along the mountain path beneath the harvest moon A few miles out from Lewisburg on the road to Killadu Someday I'll go back again to my old home in the west Where Atlantic waters cradle the place that I love best and a girl from lovely Westport is a memory now, I guess. For the yearning deep inside me doesn't make the hurting less. A heart so full of memories can never be at rest. I recall a girl I knew long, long ago. Late at night when all is still and the moon peeps over the hill. I dream about my old About my old home in Mayo. Press the green button at Ireland.com.